Hi everyone, welcome to Python Learning Series for Network Engineers. This is the ninth video on how to do FortiGate API automation using Python. In the previous video, we have seen how to read content from CSV file and configure FortiGate device using API. We were using API token key here and we were hitting this particular URL for configuring address. This was the file which we were reading. So we have taken user name and IP address, configured objects. So let us just try running this script. So we are getting 200 success response. So that means this has configured objects. I'll refresh the page. Uh, you can see here it has configured all these objects from this CSV file. Now in this video, we'll see how to configure event group as well. We will try reading the new file. Here we have one more value group. So for each object, we'll assign to the respective group. Here 101, 102 and 103 are assigned to group 1 and 104 and 5 is assigned to group 2. I have already configured groups here by default I have added only test one in this group so now we will see how to add create all these IPs and add it into the respective groups I will delete these entries uh, you can even write a validation whether this entry exists or not depends on that you can write a condition and add it into the group all these logics you can cover now here we will be covering how to create it and assign to group. So for that I will go to the previous script. So I will copy complete content and I will create a new python file here. I will give a name. create address with group and I'll paste the previous script here I have explained all this in the previous video I'll add complete playlist in the description and notification see here I was reading 01 IP list now we need to read ip list underscore group file so i'll change the group csv and both were having same names for each column so here we just need to add only the group so now also the script should work for adding the addresses now we need to add logic for adding this to group. Now to add this to group, we'll see the API. For that I'll go to 48 and once we create the address, we need to assign to group. So we'll go to group and see how to add this to group. For example, if I open this group to assign this any address to this group, what we can do is can click on API preview and we'll verify the data what we have to pass so here we need to pass name and the name colon object name so we need to pass this data for configuring I'll copy this I'll put it here and we'll see the URL what we need to pass Now to get the URL what we need to do is I will click on inspect network click ok I will stop the capture ok we can see the URL here there is a put request so we will be doing a post with 
particular member or you can even do a put request so let me just copy this URL we paste it now we'll go to postman here I'll create a copy of this and I'll give a name post address to group and we'll put the new URL then slash we can give member and here the message body I will paste this content and before that I will go and delete the current entry so now I don't have IP1 assigned here so let me just try running this So it is successful so i have received 200 so we'll verify it in the ui yes it is getting created now we check our python logic here we are creating the object first so to get the object what we are doing is from our csv file we are taking name and ip and if you see the csv file so from here we are taking name and IP. Now we need to frame the URL using group similar to this. We need to put this as a variable in the URL. Then we need to give the specific object. So we will be iterating through each IP object here. So we can just pass same IP here as well in the URL. So we'll have a look into that now once this is completed it will be creating the ip in the object list once it is created we need to assign this to the group so now to create the group what we can do is we will try creating a group dictionary so in the group dictionary what we need to add is this value so this contains name and name colon object name so let me just create a group group dictionary i'll just initialize a empty dictionary here then group dictionary of name equals IP of name IP of name means this name so we'll be taking this value same value we were taking earlier for creating the object we can see here ip of name so now we will have dictionary available here we will do a print also here group dictionary and we will just try printing that Group dictionary here for our understanding then we'll create a URL I'll call this group URL we'll copy and paste this URL and here 
okay we'll make this also as a formatted string and we need to change this this is going to be a variable because for each address we need to take the group name associated to it so that is going to be ip of group similar to ip of uh, ip ip of name we need to take ip of group uh, you can see here ip of ip was the subnet here in case of api we have seen that in the previous video this was the values we created similar to that now we will create this as a variable so ip of group now in each iteration first it will create the ip address and the name then it frames the url for that particular associated group and then we need to push the dictionary what we created this dictionary so now to pass this similar to this response what i'll do i'll create another response here i'll call this loop response equal to same like this request dot request and here this is going to be a post request we can verify it here this was a post request and after that we need to put the group url then in our case data is going to be the group payload so group payload is something which we need to convert this dictionary so i'll just create a group payload here because this dictionary is on list we cannot pass as it is so you need to convert you can see here we were creating a payload so similar way we need to create it here so to create that json dot dumps and the dictionary name it is group dictionary here and inside data also i need to pass group payload then headers are going to be our same headers the authorization header so and after sending this we will try printing same values I'll press Alt and I'll change this to Group. Yeah. Now, after creating address, it will automatically assign to the respective group. So, before that, we'll verify in Firewall once once again. So we don't have any object with user1 ip we have only groups created here with only one ip assigned so i'll delete this 
let us try running the script okay I'm not printing messages here if you want you can add the messages here in each action you can add the messages so let us go and verify it okay here you can see i have all these objects created and it got assigned to the respective groups you can see ip123 is assigned to group 01 and 4 and 5 assigned to group 02 same like this file now if you want to delete any particular object from the group I'll just duplicate it I'll call this as delete I'll give user one IP here we don't need any messages and all body message so we'll delete it we'll try sending it yeah you can see here delete successful you can even verify the python script from here you will be able to frame it easily if you want to delete and we'll verify it in firewall so earlier i had user one once i refresh You can see that address is not there now if you want to delete this address what we can do this one i'll re i'll rename to delete now here to delete the address i'll just duplicate this i'll put it in the end i'll call this delete address and change to delete I'll give the name we can remove this message body so yeah you can see delete successful and now you can see that IP is gone so in this way you can even delete we can write a Python script for deleting the entries I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to initiate API connection to 48, how to do the configuration, how to read a CSV and push the configuration, all these details. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.